Hello my Kardashians, ex-husband Lamar Odom has started a new career path and he's hoping it's one that will bring him closer to the Kar Jenner family once again. Plus we have an update on Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott's marriage status and let me tell you, it does not sound like we're getting a white wedding anytime soon. That sucks. On top of that, we have to talk about this keeping up scene that ended up on the cutting room floor where Kourtney Kardashian admitted she almost moved to Italy during the wildfires. And I also want to fill you guys in on who Black China says is Dream's favorite cousin. Yeah, we've got a lot to discuss, so stay right here to catch up. How's it going guys? I'm Madison Hill. We have a lot to get into here, so let's cut to the chase. Share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and if you've already done that, tell a friend. That way they know what's going down in Hollywood. Okay, first up, let's get into this Black China update. While chatting with Us Weekly, China admitted that Little Dream definitely has a favorite cousin, and that favorite is apparently Baby True. Who, by the way, is apparently coming for her Aunt Kendall's spot in the modeling world, if you didn't know. Anyway, when China was asked about why Dream prefers to hang with True as opposed to her other cousins, she explained that they're closest in age and hang out the most, which by all appearances on social media seems to be the case. If you remember back when China and Rob were going through negotiations when it came to child support, Dream was often with Chloe and True. I mean, hello, how could we forget those pics from their outing at the fire station? Still some of the cutest cousin moments we've seen. Now speaking of that fire station visit, you'll remember Chloe took the girls there to thank the firefighters for all their hard work in putting out the California wildfires that hit not too long ago. And speaking of that time, a new bonus clip from season 16 of Keeping Up has now been released, where Courtney revealed her plan of action if her house burnt down in those fires. While having dinner with Jonathan, Kim, Chloe, and Courtney all filled him in on how close the fires were to their homes. Kim had to evacuate and could only take what would fit in their cars. Chloe was comforted by Courtney as she was the one who reminded her that everything is replaceable. And there's just no denying it was a really scary situation. That's why when Courtney's daughter Penelope asked what they would do if their house burned down, Courtney offered her a pretty luxurious solution. We can go anywhere. Let's go to Italy. We can move to Italy. I was like, we can eat focaccia for the rest of our lives. Moving right along, let's get into another heated situation, and that is Kylie and Travis's marriage plans. The past two weeks, we've been getting a lot of mixed signals when it comes to Kylie and Travis's plans to take their relationship to the next level. One day, Kylie isn't into it, the next they're talking about marriage, and then last we heard, a source revealed that Kylie was the one less interested in marriage, while Travis was finding it more important. However, now there's a fresh update from Us Magazine, thanks to a new report. A source has now revealed that while Kylie and Travis are still talking marriage, it's not going to be for quite some time. The source admitted that Kylie's career is, quote, booming like crazy, and that she can't even think about a life-changing moment like marriage right now. The source went on to say that Kylie and Travis are happy and that's why they've decided they're quote, not in a rush at this point. And if you're wondering what this also means for those baby making plans, it sounds like those might even be pushed back too. As the source mentioned, it's quote, not an appropriate time to expand their family right now. Alrighty then. Okay, last but not least, this brings us to Lamar Odom. We haven't heard much from him since he stopped doing press for his new book and returned home from playing ball overseas. Sadly, that didn't work out, but that's okay because he already has something new lined up and that is motivational speaking, which in my opinion is a great thing. There's no denying that he did hit rock bottom, but he's worked his way out of it, showed remorse, and changed in the process. While speaking to TMZ about his new venture, Lamar admitted that he hopes motivational speaking will help bring him closer to the Car Jenners again, as they were a huge part in his healing and life. He said, quote, doing reality TV and being married to Chloe, besides having children, and besides this motivational speaking that I'm going to start doing, that was the most memorable part and the best part of my adulthood. And hopefully, me going into public speaking can bring me closer to the Kardashians and help me rebuild that bridge. All right, you guys, I'm ready to hear if you think Lamar's new public speaking gig will help bring him closer to Chloe and her family. While you're at it, let me know your thoughts on this Kylie and Travis marriage update, Courtney's fire escape plan, and China admitting True is Dream's favorite cousin. Let it all out down below. For more Car Jenner news, check out one of our recent videos. While you're at it, shop the Holly Scoop store, and of course, subscribe.